The defensive one-on-one -on -one is the core of man-to-man -man marking, but it's often neglected in training because teams only use zonal marking. The next drill is playing four-on-four -four with man-to-man -man marking. Teams used to apply man-to-man -man marking before switching to zonal marking, which now leads to players losing sight of their opponents at times during the game. We therefore use this man-to-man -man marking drill, which is beloved by the coaches, but often dreaded by the players. It's a four-minute drill, so again, it's a four-minute high-effort interval. The players guard their opponents one-on-one, -on -one, but they're still playing within the larger four-on-four -four game. So if you get beaten by your one-on-one -on -one opponent, none of your teammates are allowed to attack him. He's allowed to go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and even gets awarded with the ball after he scores. Of course, it's the same the other way around. If you're in possession or gain control of the ball, you're allowed to go one-on-one -on -one and score. Your teammates are allowed to be actively involved in the game, so they can definitely be used for a one-two or for overlapping. Your opponent's teammates are not allowed to try to actively regain control of the ball once you have beaten him one-on-one. -on -one. A different version of this drill is the four-on-four -four with a two-touch limit. Players are limited to either one or two touches in order to improve ball circulation and team play and to also raise each player's level of intensity. Another different variation of the marking drill is a free-flowing game with an unlimited number of touches which enables the players to train dribbling, going one-on-one, -on -one, passing a ball, while it also improves team play on attack